All right, guys. So I am up on top of a hill, Shannon and I are, in the middle of Nebraska, getting dumped on. As you can see, I'm soaking wet, but I'm doing this for you guys and for me. Because this is the site, or one of the sites, where the Oregon Trail is still preserved, and you can see it. So as someone who played that game as a kid, And that's the original track, according to the sign, where they used to have to struggle to go up that hill. And that was kind of a shortcut. But then they, I think they realized that the better route was down here. As you can see that cut in the ground, and then it cut to the right of the valley and go that way. So I think the point here is that no matter where you were coming from, right, they would kind of converge here, which I think is why the tracks, if you were coming from the north or from the west, they would converge here and kind of keep heading west. So what I'm doing right now is I'm walking to the section of this valley so you can see the what's left of the trail as it cuts into this valley and then continues to the part I just showed you over here to the left. Because these trails are pretty well defined, which is super cool to see. And then there's the FJ down there at the bottom in the parking lot. Look at that. There's an old wagon down there too. So as soon as I get to this corner, which is about 12 yards away you can probably start to see it now it comes out of that wash they would cross that wash basically from somewhere over here the trail gets lost so they don't have it marked because they're not sure where exactly they crossed but they would cross this creek that's down there and then here you can see it they would come out right there right in the middle of the frame and follow the creek so you can imagine hundreds if not thousands of wagons a few hundred years ago lined up coming out of that creek and there's a parking lot and there's an example of one of the old wagons so so thanks for watching i'm soaking wet it's still raining <laughs> we're having a blast we've gone through um nevada utah idaho south dakota and now we're in nebraska following these kind of like historic landmarks pretty much all the way through so super stoked i'm i'm not cold because it's like 85 degrees or 90 degrees out here so the, the water feels fantastic but oh yeah one more thing i want to show you check this out back up so you can see it I've been really bad about doing videos, so I'll try and do a few more. All right, catch you later. Okay, one thing I wanted to add before I was done. I know I said I was done before, um, but uh, we learned something coming back down. We didn't see a sign and we just saw it now. And that the gulch that you see going to the riverbed from the top of the hill, um, it's behind me. You can't really see it. Yeah, you can't see it from here. Um, but it goes straight down to that riverbed that, you, that I showed you earlier. Um, that wasn't there before. So what I said where you couldn't find the trail that led into that riverbed, it's because that was the trail that is now a stream because so many wagons went through it and cut a, a place for the water to go. It's now a stream. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The other thing that we found out was here, I'll flip the camera one more time. Okay, so we found out one other bit about why there's so many tracks that go up this hill which seems kind of obvious. I can't believe we didn't think of it earlier, but we just saw it. That one, this one, that's right in the middle of the frame. And then this set of tracks over here that go up that gnarly area. And these are all uphill climbs, right? There's another one right there. Just like when we off-road, weather conditions and the condition of the trail and traffic deviate the path that they're taking. So in some cases, it might've been that there was just a bunch of wagons that were going up this one trail and there's a traffic jam or somebody was stuck and broken down and so they went up the next side and they cut a new trail or went up another less traveled trail and so on and so forth right so it could have been super muddy or rutted out or who knows any number of reasons same thing that we see when we go off roading in the desert and you see these different paths that do the same thing 
or go to the same place. So pretty interesting. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.